To tear down an historic Covington brewery meets resistance from the guys who resurrected an historic Newport brewery. You've probably seen the 1880s building along 75 in Covington. It's where the Jillian's night spot used to be. Remember that? The owners of the Bavarian Brewing property applied for a permit to demolish it. Local 12's Joe Webb joins us now with the effort to save it. Joe. Well, Cammie, Columbia Sussex, the owner, applied for the demolition permit about three weeks ago, and there's been an undercurrent of opposition. That was taken up a notch on Sunday, and the push to keep the Bavarian Brewery building intact is organized by the family who brought Wiedemann beer back to Newport. Columbia Sussex paid more than $4 million for the four-acre site in 2008, presumably in hopes Kentucky would pass casino legislation. That didn't happen. The old Bavarian brewery in Jillian's has sat empty for about eight years. Now they've applied to tear it down. While it is on the National Register of Historic Places, the National Register actually does not put any protections on demolition for this building. A Covington development plan does protect it, but the city's Urban Design Review Board could override that. And if the Urban Design Review Board were to approve it, then they could actually, the wrecking ball could go as soon as the third, third week in November. The wrecking ball has leveled dozens of old breweries over the years in the tri-state. When Newport's Wiedemann Brewery shut down in 1983, it was soon flattened and is now home to a home store in the Campbell County Jail. Doug Newberry doesn't want to see that happen in Covington. And the fact that I've got an association with Wiedemann Beer and this big brewery renaissance that's going on, it, it seems stupid to tear down a historic building like this. Newberry's family has brought Wiedemann back. Sunday night he launched a petition drive on change.org to stop the Bavarian demolition. He also launched a new website, savethebavarian.com, that's loaded with nostalgic photos of the old place. He hopes to put pressure on Columbia, Sussex and Covington's Urban Design Review Board. Covington has their bicentennial next year. Here we go, tearing down one of their uh, historical buildings in Covington. It just seems like the wrong time to even consider this. Now, Columbia Sussex owns the property and in large measure can do with it what it wants. No one knows what its post-demolition plans are. And this morning, I called the person from Columbia Sussex who filed the demolition permit, and he hung up on me. Cammie? Wow. All right, Joe, thank you. Newberry had about 3,000, or rather 300 signatures on the petition this afternoon. He says people signed from all over the country and around the world as well. We're keeping